I've been living with this situation here for a long time. This is a stacked glass lamp and it's super cool and vintage, but I don't have a shade for it. Just haven't found anything that I really love and I uh, don't want to spend a ton of money. And then, yep. So I want to clean this spot up. I've got these, got this. That's all fine. That's Neon Pothos, by the way. That's Monstera. Um, and I could probably just put that away. Um, but yeah, I really want to put a lamp shade on that because I feel like that'll really fill in that spot there. So I'm going to raid my stash and see what I can find. I found some things. So uh, first thing, I found a lamp shade. Um, this lampshade I actually bought on clearance at Lowe's like a millennia ago. I got it for like a couple of dollars. I was looking through the website. I think I had like a gift card or something to use. So I was trying to just fill up the rest of the balance. Um, but it's like, it's taken a beating. So I think it makes a great candidate for an experiment. Um, yeah, so I've got that. I also have spray adhesive, scissors, two different fabrics because I haven't checked to make sure I have enough of either of them, to be honest. And then I also grabbed hot glue. I think I have just enough of this fringe that I glued to everything to go around the bottom. And I'm thinking I will probably Oops, I'm thinking I'll probably use these mini uh, clothespins to hold the edges in place. So let's experiment and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is move the scissors out of the way because I do not want the spray adhesive to get on this. You can see I am outside because you don't want to spray like anything out of a can like this in the house. Don't do that. Hold your scissors right too. So let me see which one of these fabrics are actually going to fit around this thing first. I'm not even going to test the other one because I really wanted to use the shibori <laughs> and it'll work. All right. I'm going to roughly cut it and uh, yeah. Once I've got it glued down, then I'll worry about the rest of it. Yeah, real quick, I'm gonna cut this roughly to size. Okay, now I am going to spray a section, smooth the fabric over that section, and then spray another section, smooth it, spray another section, smooth it, you get the gist. Now that I've worked my way all the way around, I'm going to cut about a half inch to overlap and then I'm going to spray this and glue that together now. Now that we are done with the spraying portion of this, we are going to move indoors so that I can plug in the hot glue gun and take care of the uh, flaps here because mine is skinnier on top and wider on the bottom so when wrapping it around it doesn't it starts to roll off kilter so I've done these little pleats that I'm going to cut off and I'll show you let's go <laughs> 
First things first, while the hot glue gun heats up, I'm going to take this utility knife, craft knife, whatever you want to use, sharp blade, and I'm going to carefully cut the fabric along the pleat. I have that one, and I have this nice hefty long one. <laughs> I'm actually kind of living for this because this is vintage African indigo mud cloth and a lot of it already had parts where it had been repaired and this kind of mimics the same authentic repair look that it already had so I'm pretty thrilled with that. So now that my hot glue gun is warmed up I'm going to run hot glue gun under this lip and I'm going to fold the fabric over and I'm going to use one of these little clothes pins to hold it down until the glue dries. we go what do you think I kind of feel like I want to leave the fringe off yep I'm gonna leave the fringe off let's go see what it looks like today. I hope you enjoyed coming with me on this adventure of making a lampshade for this lamp. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you again very soon. Peace out.